How do we make a simple map in RPG Maker MZ? I'm going to show you the tools we have and how to get a simple map design going. We're not going to do anything complex. In fact, we're not even going to consider design at all for right now. Start off by right clicking your map and press edit. We're going to start with a name. The name matters a lot because if you end up making a big game with a hundred different maps, a naming scheme will help you remember what is what. Use whatever works for you, I'll just be naming my map Practice Map. Next we're going to select a tile set. We're going to go over these a little bit later. For now, let's just grab the overworld one that's here by default. We could also change the width and height of our map too. Scroll type is just the setting that allows your map to repeat itself in either direction. You'll see here that even though there's only one tree, you will see it again and again if we keep going in the same direction. We could also change our music and background sounds via the menu as well. The battle back is the main background you'll see in battle. We could disable dashing too, but we won't worry about any of that other stuff for now. We're also not going to really cover encounters or parallax backgrounds just yet. Let's get right into the map creation instead. We have a pencil tool that's good at putting one square down at a time or manually drawing things. The square and circle just quickly drop shapes on the map. We have a tool for putting shadows manually as well. The zoom in, zoom out, and back to one by one, which basically means the standard size. We could also go through the chosen tile sets on the side here by clicking on A, B, Z, etc. R is for something else. Let's change our tile set and look at a different one. You'll notice that changing the tile set changes everything on the screen. So let's restart. The bucket tool or the square tool could be used. I prefer the square. So what happens if we try to put a bunch of tiles together? You'll see it just kind of repeats itself. But once we have some tiles placed down, we could right click any tile to place it again. Think of it as your copy tool. Another thing you'll probably notice is as we place tiles on top of each other, it kind of replaces what's there. That's because of the automatic feature that's on right now. So let's talk about layers, a brand new feature in RPG Maker MZ. In the bottom right corner, you'll see the word automatic. That means the tiles you place will be placed automatically, not considering layers whatsoever. If we press Control tab though, you'll notice the layers go from 1, 2, 3, then 4, before going back to automatic. So let's treat this like we would a piece of art on Photoshop. Layer 1 is going to be our ground layer. Layer 2 will be our walls. Layer 3 will be our primary objects. And layer 4 will be our secondary objects. Doing things in this structured way makes it easy to only work on one layer at a time. Meaning if we decide later that we want to change the floor, we could do so without replacing everything we have already designed. There is so much I could talk about maps. I can go on and on for hours, but that's not why you're here. I taught you the main tools you need to get going, so now it's your turn. Make a map. Make a simple one like this using your own tastes. It doesn't have to look good, but... Try using each tool to see the tool's usefulness. In fact, make a few different ones, because in our next video we're going to talk about moving from one map to the next.